Hi, this is uh, Mohammed, the CEO of Lil Helper. I made myself this beautiful cup of um, Earl Grey, put it in a coffee filter and put it together uh, with a little fork over here. And it's fantastic. Anyways, um, apart from the tea. This thing has been marinating in my head for the last two or three months, okay? And I've been thinking about it and just trying to put my thoughts together. So here it is. A few months ago, I came across, the, across this philosophy of the Buddhist philosophy of the middle path, the middle way. And what does that say, okay? There are two extremes of any position and both extremes are actually bad. And it's, it's the righteous path is in the middle or the end, the it's basically it's the happy medium. So what does it, what, just in practical terms, like all of us know that eating fast food, very, like if you eat fast food, fast food every now and then, it's not great for your body. Obviously it has a lot of uh, fat and salt and this and that, and it's not made with the best ingredients. And that is one extreme where you eat it a lot. The other extreme could be that you don't eat it and you have to fight yourself all the time that I don't want to eat it because it's bad and this and that. And then there could be a happy medium, right? It could be once in a while you, you enjoy it, take it as a treat, and it's, then I'm sure it's not going to do that much harm to your body. So here's the happy medium. And you can find a happy medium for everything, like uh, commuting. Say if you're commuting by, by car every day, once in a while, if you have to take a short trip, you can actually use a bicycle. So there's a happy medium, there's a middle path. Like you don't have to do one or the other. There, there you have, in the society that we live in, we have these amazing choices that, that are given to us. And just so, so how blessed are we that we have these abundant choices. So in the same way, clot diapering. There is a middle path in clot diapering as well. Like there are these purists, clot diaper purists, I'm not one, although I have a, I have a company in my house runs on clot diapers in the sense that it's a business that, that kind of keeps my family running. I'm not a purist, but I, I don't want people to think that, okay, it's only cloth diapers. You can only use cloth diapers and nothing else, like uh, disposable diapers are bad. And obviously they're not great for the environment, blah, blah, blah. And you know the spiel, I'm not gonna give it to you. But there's a happy medium, right? The happy medium is why not use disposable diapers and cloth diapers? So even if say you are using disposable diapers, say all, all you mamas who are using disposable diapers, I understand why you use them, they're convenient. I can't argue against that. I wish I could throw away all my dishes after I've, I'm done using them, but unfortunately I can't. I, I wish I, I don't have to wash this shirt after I wear it and throw it away, and that's it, I don't have to see it again, and boom, there's a new shirt that I can buy for 30 cents. But life doesn't work that way. Anyways, but I understand your choices. And I don't fault you for that. But what if you made a decision of using cloth diapers, say once a week, on a Saturday or a Sunday, give your child's bum a rest, give it a treat, yay. Here is a beautiful little diaper, like you wear, like you wearing silk pajamas every, I should buy silk pajamas. Anyways, what I mean to say is, you could actually do that like once a week, twice a week, and it's not that difficult then then you can maybe transition into cloth diapering slowly if that if you think that, that that is something that you want to do or just twice a week once a week start it just give it a shot don't it's not that difficult everybody who uses cloth diapers is just like you are they are they are not living on a farm somewhere they are not doing uh, they are they are not hippies running around in com communes well some of them are but not all very small percentage. I'm, I'm not part of any commune. So there is a middle path and I, I want you to know that and I want you to like try it out, give it a, give, maybe for just a one day a week, see if that works out for you. Try it out with a few diapers. Don't forget about little diapers. Go and get whatever diaper you can get your hands on. Go and maybe you will ask one of your girlfriends or somebody to give you their diapers and see if that works out for you. Their cloth diapers, see if that works out. I'm sure anybody who cloth diapers will gladly give you two, three diapers to try out. And please do that. And you will see that it's not that difficult. And there's a middle path to it. The middle path is that you can use disposable diapers and cloth diapers to diaper your child. And it's a much more sustainable way of doing things. This thing has been in my head for such a long time. It's such a relief to get it out there now. The middle path, Buddhism, who knew, eh? What's the middle path of, um, uh, well, tea is not bad, so I'm, I'm going to stick with tea. Guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, our uh, email is delightedlilhelper.ca if you want to give our diapers a shot. 
If you're on Facebook, please share this video, give it a like. If you're on YouTube, please share this video, leave a comment. Tell me your thoughts. Tell me how you use cloud diapers. Do you, are you a middle, middle path family or are you one or, or on one side of the aisle or the other and why? Thank you. Bye-bye.